Learning to make good decisions is one of the most practical and I guess one of the most important skills that we can learn in our life. Welcome to Live and Wear Any channel. My name is Olga Rojas and today I would love to share with you four ways to make good decisions without regret. The more decisions we make, the more we learn about ourselves and what we really value and place importance upon. While I can't say that I've always made the best decisions, I found that good and bad decisions actually allowed me to reflect on my decision-making process. Not every decision has been easy or simple for me. However, with each one, I'm finding a little bit of more ease and clarity. Something I've come to realize is that it's unbelievably important to really listen to your gut and get a good idea what you think before you start asking your friends or family for their opinions. Looking back, I can see that this was exactly the way I made decision to come to the United States, to New York, to move to my future husband. I had all my family and friends, university diploma, my apartment, everything set up back in Russia. However, somehow I realized that was solely my decision to make on my own without including anybody else. Making this decision on my own at that point was just ideal for me. In a hidden side, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Ask yourself a question. In 10 years, will I regret not doing it? If you can learn one thing from this video, make it that. At that point, it was one of the best questions that I could have asked myself. I was evaluating my cons and pros of the situation. I was trying to analyze, but deep, deep inside, I knew what I really wanted. I knew that I cannot lose this chance. I knew without doubt that I would regret if I'm not going for it. Sometimes I know it's easy to put the things off for another day, week, month, a year. However, we don't really know if we have this another opportunity in the future. I love this question because it can be applied in so many areas of your life and help you to make good decisions. For instance, I want to share with you some of the situations from my life, my personal life, that really helped me uh, to make good decisions. For example, back in 2014, I started my YouTube channel. It was a, my first YouTube channel in Russian. And then another situation, um, I got married when I was 22 and I got kids when I was 24. Way early, right? For most of the people on the planet Earth nowadays. But for me, it didn't feel like this is what I really wanted. Another big decision that I made is to start this YouTube channel in English. For me, it, was, it took years, but I made it. I truly love what I'm doing and that question helped me a lot. And last but not least was learning Spanish to talk, to communicate with my husband. Spanish is the language, but it's not just language for me. It's a passion, it's a lifestyle. Back in 2006, in Siberia, a little girl wants to learn Spanish. That sounds a little crazy but this is what I really wanted. And I'm so grateful I started that early. Another very important point, make decisions only when you're relaxed and not stressed and anxious. If I'm being completely honest, I've made a lot of bad decisions in my 20s from a place of stress and fear, from impulsive clothing purchases to spending hundreds of dollars on courses that I've never completed. Making decisions when you stress is never a good idea. Something that has been really helpful for me is focusing first on relaxing my body and my mind and focusing on the decision second. Believe me, the quality of your decision is directly related to the mental state. So what do I personally do to calm myself? Is first exercising or going for a walk, reading, journaling, eating healthy meal, drinking lots of water, 
and meditation. These are typically my six go-to activities to relieve stress. Try this and then you will feel and see which ones resonate with you. Take everyone else out of the picture. Have you ever wanted to do something but then you didn't just because you thought about what other people would think of you? For example, right now, me and Chamaro, we've got this idea to try out RV lifestyle, to rent our apartment out and just go on RV adventure. Instead of immediately thinking, you guys are crazy, just try to take everyone else out of your life scenario. Consider how would you make this decision knowing that people were 100% supportive of your idea either way. Remember that you are the only person that will regret your decisions. So while other people are very important in our life, just try to take them out of the picture. Besides, it's likely that the closest people in your life want you to be happy. And of course, eventually they will accept your decisions either way. Before you go, remember that you are solely responsible for every decision in your life and you are going to be the only person to regret them. And also, rather than getting stressed, remember the fact that you have autonomy over your life and it's pretty amazing and worth celebrating. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Live and Wearing channel and best of luck with your decisions making. Bye!